Hello, everyone, and welcome to another session of the INT2200. In the chapters four and five and six, uh, is what we're going to cover. In chapter four, it's uh, some of the built-in functions uh, that Java has, we'll discuss quickly. And then in chapter five, it's about loops. And then chapter six, it's about uh, uh, methods. Now, with the built-in uh, math functions, these are the ones that you regularly use. And instead of rewriting it, uh, you, it's, they have already written it for you. All you have to do is basically call that function and use it, whether it's getting a length of something, whether it's getting the minimum of a number of something or a maximum of number of something, or you're comparing something, or you're getting a substring of something. Uh, that those are built-in functions. You just use it as you write your code. And then uh, with in chapter four, we discuss about loops. These are repetitions. Uh, loops can execute a block of code as long as a specified condition is uh, reached. Now, loops are handy because they save time and reduce errors, and they can make code more readable. There are three loops that we will discuss. You have the for loop. Uh, so this is when you already know how many times you're trying to execute something. Like, for example, like in the case of, uh, uh, I don't know if you watched the show, The Bart Simpsons. Uh, the Simpsons, Bart, uh, his, his teachers would make him write, I will not do this again 100 times. And instead of doing that 100 times, you can easily make a mistake. But with a for loop, if you say 100 times, execute this line for me, it executes it. It's clean, it saves time, and there's less error that you can make uh, of the spelling and so forth. And then we have what's called the while loop. So the while is while the condition is true. So it goes through the block of code as long as the specified condition is true. And an example of a while loop uh, would be uh, like if you go through a drive through the first thing they check is that you actually paid for the money before they actually give you the food. So they check the condition first. So that would be the while loop. And then we have what's called the do while. So think of the do while as, let's say, uh, uh, like a dining restaurant. They don't check whether you have money or not. The first thing they do is they bring you water. They bring you maybe some appetizers. And then after, they ask you to order. So you're going to say, oh, sorry, I don't have money. So they don't force you to pay it. You can easily go, right? So don't try that. <laughs> so that's basically the do while loop. It checks the condition uh, later. Um, and then the next thing is uh, we will discuss is what's called the methods. Uh, methods are basically uh, a collection of statements that are grouped together to perform an operation. So um, and, and one of the assignments that you have, you have to do that. So I want to show you. Uh, some examples of each one of these uh, before we uh, we move on. So let's start. Maybe um, I think we can start with um, with chapter four, which was basically some of the built-in functions. And I just wanted to show you some examples. And I think one of the assignments, I think in lab two, you had to do some type of comparison, so or maximum or minimum, some uh, you know, and use some type of a built-in function. So I just wanted to show you some examples. Uh, of some built-in function, maybe uh, uh, let's do a max, min, or max function, for example. So let's define or declare some variables. Uh, let's say uh, integer, uh, and let's say num1, and let's initialize that to, let's say, 10. And then int num2. I initialize that to be 13. All right, and then uh, we can compare these two numbers and then print out um, uh, which one is bigger, 10 or 13, right? So we will use one of the built-in functions uh, from the library, uh, and we will use the map that and then there's a max min function we can compare max and then methods which, by the way we are calling a method called max and this max and uh, we can explain uh, the methods as we discuss this um, so the max method can have uh, parameters that we pass in so we can pass num1 and num2 basically we're saying compare num1 
uh, with num2. And basically give us the answer, which one is bigger? Okay. And let's run that. Okay, did I misspell something? I'll add something there, so I have extra E there. Let's run it. So here it says 13. You know, you can format it, add stuff to it. So, so it says num1 and num2. If we compare which one is the maximum, then that would be 13. You would use this one actually in one of your assignments uh, to basically compare uh, three or five numbers, whatever it is that the assignment says. So that's basically some of the built-in functions. If you, you can use there are many. You can go through it and read it. Just wanted to show you a quick example. And then with the loops, uh, let's go through some uh, example. So let's say in the case of a for loop. Um, so for loop is you use it uh, when you know for loop, when you know how many times you want to run. So here you have integer, and you initialize it, whatever you want to initialize it. So let's say I want to initialize it to 0. And then how many times do I want? Right. So I will say I want it three times, five times, whatever it might be, you know, as long as it's less than, let's say, seven times, right? And then I want to increment. The loops have what's called incrementing. You're, you're either adding something or decrementing. You're subtracting something from it. So in this case, we want to increment it, name plus plus, okay? And then, uh, and then whatever we want to do with that loop, what have, would you want me to do? Add it, whatever it is, or print something out, right? System. And that out, that print line, and then whatever message you want to repeat here. So you can say, you know, I love Java or something like that. All right. And then we run this. Okay. What did I miss? System that out print line. So that means I am missing the T there. Small things that you live like that can make it fun. So you will repeat, I love Java, I love Java, uh, as long as this statement is uh, true. All right. And then we have the other one, um, which is um the while loop so let me put you on that so let's say with the while loop uh, you initialize it again integer i equals let's say zero and then we do the while loop. remember the while loop i told you it's like going through a drive through so it checks the condition first all right Now, as long as the condition is true, uh, then it will execute. Once it becomes false, then it won't execute. System that out, that print, fine. Um, you can execute just the number i, so it will just repeat the numbers one, three, four, five, five, six, or we can put a message in there. So either one is fine. So if I just say i, uh, it will execute the number. And then here I can increment it and then say I plus plus. As you see, it's a zero, one, two. Or we can increment uh, a message there. I love Java. you see all right and the next one that we have that I want to show you is um, would be called the uh, the do while and the do while is uh, kind of like a drive through uh, sorry the do while is kind of like a dining restaurant so it checks that uh, the condition uh, afterwards so so we will say the same thing. We'll say int i equal to zero. We initialize that, and then uh, here it would be do do something basically. 
Okay, do something, say I, I love Java, and then increment it, right? And then it's after that, after that block, then you check the why. Okay, now you would say, um, as long as, you know, I is less than three, right? We run that. And then basically, so it does, it will do something, then it will check the condition after that. So kind of like a dining restaurant, they give you water and bread and then say, oh, what do you want to order? While the while loop was more like um, a drive through they actually make sure they got the money. So they check the condition first, while the do while it checks the condition last. And you use the for loop when you actually know exactly uh, what you wanted to, uh, uh, number of times that you want to run. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is about, talk about methods. Uh, when we, we use the max method, that was a built-in method. So we just used it and we passed them parameters A and B. Uh, how about if you had to write a method on your own and that's what you're required to do in one of our assignments. So what I will do is I will just continue uh, with the last video I uploaded for you uh, on uh, uh, the, the lab that you had for the food truck. Um, so let me uh, uh, do a method for you here, and let's call that method maybe a food method. So we will add the first the modifier. We say uh, static. Um, and we'll do a method that doesn't return anything. We we'll call it void, and then call it the food menu, something like that. Food menu header or something like that. Like let's say we want to do the header, okay? And now methods are like function in that, so that's why we have a, a parentheses there. And when we when we use the max, as you saw, we we had a uh, a parentheses, and then we passed the a and b of num one and num two. Um, so it's like a function. So here it's a function. We said void, so we are not passing anything, and. And in this method, all you want to do is um, basically print out the header of uh, the receipt that you're trying to do, print line, that's it. All right, now here you can put uh, the name of the pizza, pizza pilots or something like that, if there is such thing, place. Pizza Palace. And then the next line would be uh, address. And then the next line would be uh, um, telephone. And the next line would be like, you know, some type of format that you wanted to add, something like that. All right. So once you create your method like that, for it to work and show up, you need to call it in the main. Okay, so this is the driver. So any method you want to, uh, 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 to call, this is where the calling happens. With the calling, you just call the name of the method. Uh, so without the modifier, so we just say food, um, menu, header, and then like that, and then we run the program. I forgot the semicolon there. So how many chicken do you want? One. How many do you want? Two. Then it shows you. The only problem here is that here is the name of the pizza, and then the questions that you're asking the customer is happening inside here, which means I need to call this function somewhere right above here. So I need to move this one, since it's a method, Just you can just cut that from here, okay? And scroll it down to where you want it to be. Not when you're asking the question, but after you have asked the question. So uh, after you have asked the question, here you have, uh, this welcome to pizza or whatever, uh, you can put it right right here. I mean, I already give it a name for a header, 
it doesn't have to be there. You can just call it right there. Now, if I run it, and then you can make your order. Now you will see the name, pizza files, the address, the telephone. This, I just had the welcome file there. Um, so you can see that it's all formatted now that you have the header. And then of course you would, you would want to create another one uh, for the footer, uh, like something like welcome, thank you, or shop again here and so forth. Now, one thing I wanted to uh, mention is that a couple of you had a problem with uh, documentation. Uh, when I asked for documentation, uh, you know, you want to do some type of external documentation. Um, so here you can put a uh, slash with an asterisk there, and then uh, put an asterisk there, then a slash, and then uh, say the author, right? Who wrote the project, basically? And screen time is low. Date. Um, what day is it? Six. What is it, six, seven, 2020. Again, once you do the slash and the asterisk, you are free here to write anything. And then uh, project. Now let me explain. This project is a food. The food truck business, that text, five, orders from the user, and displays, the receipt, you know, it offers, a discount, you know, extra stuff, um, you know, the program was completed using Java language. And combinations. Of built in functions, loops, positions, and so forth. Anything, however, you achieved it, you accomplish it, right? So you, you do that. And then inside the code, um, you basically define everything else that you have done here. So here you can say this is the header. The header method that displays the name of the business or something like that. And then the stuff you go through it, and each one of those, anything that's special that you created, um, you kind of comment it. This is the internal documentation. Uh, very important for another user to read it or even after for you to read it after a while. So that's basically it that I wanted to share with you. So as you're writing your uh, your code and your programs, I want you to consider uh, pay, to, to pay attention to the code uh, and then the documentation. Thank you. I hope you learned something from it. Thanks. Bye.